All right, so in an example like this, um, when we are looking into taking the square root, the biggest thing, guys, is we know we have to square it, right? We know we have to square both sides. However, we do not want to square it unless we have our, uh, um, unless we have our square root isolated. In the same respect, just like when we were solving quadratics, if you guys remember, like if I had x squared minus 7 equals um, you know, 3 or something like that, we don't square root things until we add the 7 to both sides. Then we have x squared equals 10. Now we take the square root, right? Do you guys remember that? So it's the same thing. We got to isolate, instead of isolating the, square, the x squared, we need to make sure we isolate the square root of x or the square root of our expression. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to undo adding 7. So I'll subtract the 7 on both sides. Yes? Because? Yes, correct. Correctamente. So now I have the square root of 5z minus 6 um, equals 3. In exactly the same case, I have the square root, all this is under the square root. So i got to undo the square root. So I'm going to have to square both sides. So now the squaring and the square root undo each other. So I'm just left with 5z minus 6 equals 9. Remember, the square root and the, or sorry, the square and the square root undo each other. Basically, if you guys, mm, here, let's do this. If I did the square root of 3 squared, what does this really mean? It really means the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. Well, what's the square root of 3 times the square root of 3? is the square root of 3 squared, which is equal to the square root of 9, which is just equal to 3. So really, all this does just equals 3. These just can't divide out or undo each other. So it just equals 3. So that's the same thing in this. This is 5z times mi minus 6 times 5z minus 6, which any of those. So now I go ahead and solve. So I add 6. Add 6. I have 5z is equal to 15. Divide by 5, divide by 5, z equals 3. Again, though, please make sure you guys go back and plug your answer in. So if I plug in my answer, I have 3 times 5, which is 15. 15 minus 6 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 plus 7 equals 10. So it works. Okay, We will have answers that are not going to work. So just make sure you guys get in. Then there